whether you've been dropped on an island to scavenge for gear or hunting out in the field, be ready for the battle with the Royale. The Royale is an incredibly lightweight bow that is the perfect introductory compound bow for any young archer that will last for years to come. The draw weight starts at an easy to pull 5 pounds and can be adjusted up to a serious 50 pounds and the draw length can be adjusted from 12 inches to 27 inches to fit any growing archer or hunter. All adjustments can be made using an Allen wrench, removing the need for a bow press. The Royale comes fully equipped and ready to hunt with a Trophy Ridge Mist Sight, 5-spot quiver, whisker biscuit, Fletcher Archery no-tie peep, and a knock loop. With a super smooth draw cycle, the Royale offers a 75% let off and fires arrows at 290 feet. Thanks for checking out the new Atomic from Diamond Archery. But I know you're wondering, what are all these parts? What exactly do they do? I'm here to help. Let's take a look at the anatomy of the Atomic. Here's the riser. This is the backbone of the bow and also where you hold the bow with your hands. These are the limbs. These flex as you draw the bow and produce energy to shoot the arrow. These wheels are actually called cams. They rotate when you draw the bow to further produce energy. This is the rotating module. You have one on each cam, top and bottom. These can be rotated to set the draw length for your shooter. These are the cables. They allow the cams to be rotated together. This is the limb pocket, where the limbs actually attach to the riser of the bow. This is the limb bolt. This bolt can be loosened or tightened to change the draw weight. These are the limb bolt indicators. These marks identify how much of the limb bolt is actually coming out of the riser. It's important that these limb bolt indicators be the same for both the top and bottom limb bolts. This is a cable guard. It keeps the cables out of the way of the bowstring when shooting an arrow. This is your sight. This is where your child will aim with their eyes to hit the target. This is your arrow rest. This is where the arrow will lean before and during shooting. Lastly, this is your string. This is what propels your arrow forward to hit your target. This metal piece is called the knock. Below that is a rubber piece called the eliminator button. Your arrow will be knocked above the eliminator button and below the metal knock. We hope this quick overview helps explain the bow functions. Check out more videos here at AtomicKids.com. The original Genesis bow, the benefit with the original Genesis bow, it's 100% ready to be shot out of the box. The other benefit is it has an unlimited draw length, will fit virtually anybody. The adjustable draw weight will go from 10 to 20 pounds, which makes it very easy for anybody to draw the bow to their size and stature and be able to comfortably shoot and have fun with this bow. The Genesis bow may be designed for youth, but it comes standard with highly machined aluminum parts. The riser, the cam, and the idler wheel, the string and the cable are handmade here at Genesis and 100% hand assembled. All these components used add up to one very durable bow. Thanks for your interest in the PSC Mini Burner. This is a great youth package bow. It comes with everything you need in it just to get someone out shooting who's a, a little guy. So this bow goes from 16 to 26 and a half inches draw length where it range. 40 pounder will go down to four and a half pounds at the lowest draw length setting. A couple other cool features on this cam is we actually have a performance setting and a grow with you setting. I'll go over that in a minute. So as you see, it comes with a rest, quiver, three arrows, stabilizer, and a wrist sling. So let's just get this thing unpackaged. We can kind of show you whatever everything's in here. On the back, you'll have your user guide and some wrenches. And there'll be a few zip ties here. Pop those off. that. 
So now that you've got your bow out of the package, you can see there's two settings here on the cam. The outside setting is a performance setting and the inside setting is our grow with you setting just to give you a little smoother draw feel. So if someone's really, really new to it, which most young archers will be, you can actually move that cord, that cable, from the outside groove to the inside groove to give you a little bit smoother draw. You want to make sure that matches both top and bottom. To adjust draw lengths, there's an Allen screw in here, but you'll find the appropriate Allen head. To adjust your draw length, you'll remove the screw. Then rotate the module to the appropriate letter for the draw length you require. Reinstall your screw. and make sure both top and bottom are on the same letter. In your user guide, you'll find all your draw length and draw weight settings for everything you can do on this bow. It will have performance setting and grow with you settings and the number of turns out uh, corresponding to what draw length and what draw weight each will be. So use that as a reference guide to set your bow up uh, to the appropriate draw length and draw weight. And then the front of this is your warranty. So make sure you fill it out and get your bow registered for the warranty. To attach your quiver bracket, find the quiver bracket in the bag with your other uh, information. Um, and this is going to screw onto the sight in the back position. Putting your quiver on, remove your arrows. Then slide the quiver into the quiver bracket and the back piece locks it down. Then you can reinstall your arrows. So now we're ready, we'll go outside and have some fun. I first heard of Gen X Archery when I was right in the middle of Archery Talk's 2017 Target Bow Project. Gen X is a new venture by Matthews, and it's affiliated with Genesis. Gen X has a five bow lineup, and prices are starting at just $139. The flagship of this lineup is the $300 X1, a full-scale target bow. As much as I like being able to play around with high-end target bows, their high prices make them unattainable for a lot of people, and that's a market Gen X is clearly targeting, pun intended. The X1 has an axle to axle length of 37 inches, a brace height of seven and a quarter inches, and a mass weight of four pounds. If it looks familiar to you, this bow or one very similar to it was previously part of the Mission lineup, known as the Mission Rally, which retailed for hundreds more than this X1. This bow uses the OptiMod cam system, which allows you to change draw lengths from 22 to 30 inches without using a bow press. Draw weight is also adaptable from 41 to 70 pounds, making this bow fit just about anybody. Fit and finish on this bow is good, but you can't fairly compare it to a bow that costs $1,000 more. 